questions or, or point us in a few direction? I'm going to stay off camera. Any suggestions? Anything I missed? Um, well, something I'm proud of is he was my oldest son's music mentor. My son is in the United States Congress Band. He's a Fantastic. And I think that's kind of cool. He has a lot of respect for my father for being his backer. I used to practice over there. Mm -hmm. you know, my son would get frustrated. They kept doing it. They did a lot of duets together. Up until just like a few years ago. Yeah. I think my son's been here almost seven or eight years. Wow. Yeah, so, he's, he's in there now. He's I'm very proud of that. I think my dad is too because he's the only grandchild that stuck. We had a thing. School. We had a thing. Uh, when he went, he was in college, and uh, of course I was working in Westinghouse for 40, 50 years, 40 years I guess. And uh, so when he'd be, when he'd, he used to come into our house because he uh, uh, wanted to play duets. And he liked it, he liked it and I liked it. Because when you play duets, it's not necessarily music that's current, you know, it's not a, they're all all the articulation that's uh, uh, to a musician. It's all music. It's music. It's colorful music, but not necessarily a song that you might hear on the radio. So, but the, you know, he and I uh, uh, got along real well. You know, we still do. Yeah, now he's in the military. He's in the military. He's a he's in the uh, music field. He's a uh, Conductor, to some degree, you know, and he, uh, uh, so when he comes in on on pass or something, you know, I get the, get the clarinet out, get the clarinet. I want to see if I can still articulate, you know. Have you gotten a chance to go see him, uh, this band perform? Uh, no, no, but no. He was uh, he was leading the clarinet section the last time, then at a. At a uh, Big, uh, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, uh, football games or something, you know, where they have the big band. They, they, they bring, bring the band, he, he used to lead the band, the, the clarinet section, actually. Uh, so uh, he enjoyed it. And it, he enjoyed it, I enjoyed it when, you know, when, when I was older, when I was younger. <laughs> and uh, so. so uh, Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think any of your favorite stories, uh, say unusual places you played. Uh, I mean, say what, did you ever play, say, like the Delwood Ballroom or uh, or Crystal Beach? Uh, we put, we played on, uh, on uh, what's the name of that? Canadiana. Canadiana. And one time, I played with a small combo on the a, on a visiting boat. You know, not a visiting boat, but they used to have an excursion down, down the river. And uh, so I, w I went, to, they hired me and four guys, four guys. And we, <laughs> I have to laugh at that because we, we, we played and then they, they'd go into a turn and all of, the, all of the music and everything went flying, you know. But we cut it. We cut. We did a did a pretty good job. Yeah. And I imagine the people danced. Oh yeah. And that was a dancing era. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. That in itself was rewarding, you know, to see people dancing to your music. Yeah. And you played every relative's wedding. <laughs> 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 to you. They knew you were a musician, so all the relatives said, Hey, Vic, right. hey, hey, come <laughs> play. Uh, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. What's that? Oh, recordings, good point. Uh, did you make, did you get a chance to make any recordings? I, I think, uh, I have to think back. Uh, as an individual, well, no. Or as part of a group. With a, with a group, yeah. With a group, we, we made arrangements, you know, recordings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was either for our own purpose or, or the, or the, we actually had uh, somebody buy their records. 
So you actually you put out some some records? Yeah. You still have them? No. <laughs> Seventy-eight or forty-five or LP. Yeah, seventy-eight, seventy-eight. Do you remember where you recorded them? Uh, no. Some somewhere at the at the center. Um, played for the churches. That's all. That's about all I remember. You know, there were, there were a lot. Of, you know, a lot. Of, I played a lot of music for with many years. So, hmm. some, sometimes you have to forgive me for, for not remembering. Well, you've got ninety years worth of memories to yeah. keep track of. Oh yeah, which is a good number. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think. I think I'm pretty much wrapping up here because yeah. I'm, I'm running out of unless Rich That's has right. other you things that he wants to throw over this way because yeah. he, he's, yeah. our co, he's our co-producer. Is he really? Recording-wise, I don't know if there, uh, I don't know, I mean, we would go with Yeah. Okay, but so, yeah, I never heard of anything that we Yeah. How do you feel about your entire career? Lifetime? And your, your entire lifetime of making them, how does that make you feel? Makes me feel good, you know, that I can. Sit, I'm still capable of, of playing, you know. Maybe not as well as I used to, but because uh, like I'm those, my own critic, you know. Oh, you're not playing that right. <laughs> yeah, don't you have a videotape of, of like grandfather's band, an old VHS tape? Well, I, I can digitize those, by the way. Yeah, I think they're. I think he's. I think he's got. Yeah. Something. Okay, maybe at some point, if you guys want me to, I could, uh, I could put that on a DVD or online or whatever you want to with it. I, I just got a thing that makes it easier to turn VHS tapes into digital things. So, okay, well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk. <laughs> it's fun to talk to you and yeah. get a little bit of a picture into the history of Buffalo and Buffalo music and. It's always fun to meet yeah. somebody that I didn't know that much about before. <laughs> so, thank you. All right. You know, once I turn off the camera, people are going to think of things and yeah. stories are going to come out because they always <laughs> do.